Hey guys, first print is going just fine. Uh, it's been going for a little bit. I recorded this video first and then my phone died before it saved. Uh, for some reason, the first print they didn't enable the heated bed, so it's just running PLA. Uh, running uh, filaments.ca brand PLA, just a little half a kilogram roll I had. It's nice, works good. Um, it's working pretty good. One thing I forgot to mention is, yeah, it has no disconnect for the thermistor or the hot end, so if that ever broke or died, changing it, you have to rewire it all the way back to the board, I guess, which kind of sucks. Uh, one of the guys on the, in the YouTube comments asked about bed stability, and I'm thinking it looks like it's pretty stable. Like, I tried wobbling it, and it, it has a bit of wobble, but I would say no worse than anything I could get out of my Wanhao, which is currently printing. But anything you hear in here right now is definitely the uh, Ender. Oops, sorry. It's definitely the Ender. It's got a lot of, a lot more noise. Plus, it's sitting directly on the table. The Wanhao is up on foam and isolation. Uh, and the this desk is built into the wall, so it uh, definitely amplifies a lot. Print seems to be going okay. Uh, give me a second, I'll bring up the files. It's printing. So, over here we got this. No, it's not the Takapa Cat. Oh well, thanks a lot. It's, it's kind of nice they changed it. That one looked kind of dumb. This one's actually kind of a cute little model. Uh, they give you the model, so you can go into the test and they'll show you that, okay, there's the uh, there's the dog model that I'm printing right now. Well, but minus the base, so they didn't give you that. So they got the PNG and they, I guess they, that's how they sliced it with it's below the bed. Give you the G-code. And then STL files, they have a... Uh, they have a squirrel chess set. Yep. Squirrel chess set. That's definitely a squirrel chess set. So, interesting. They also give us a troubleshooting guide, some drivers, and a couple versions of Cura for some reason, and some reference data, which is nothing too much there. It's probably just Cura profiles. Um installation manuals no uh no marlin firmware so take that as you will but uh yeah see if you're printing okay i'm printing right off the sd card right now sorry a little bit uh ghetto my uh, phone is so dead it won't let me turn on the light so i have to have a another flashlight so, right off the SD card. Also, I think before in one of my videos it said micro USB. That was my mistake. It's actually just a mini USB. So, which is yeah, less common, I guess. But I got a few of those cables kicking around. Other than that, seems to be going pretty good. So, they have it tuned up pretty good. It moves pretty quickly. I, I, I'm printing PT right now, so I have it a little, going a little slower on my lawn how and I had a little bit of lifting in the corner, but it's not what this is about, so. Uh, yeah, again, it's uh, filaments.ca PLA, in blue, printing the dog, and uh, 200 degrees. Yeah, so far looks like it's doing okay. Thanks.